Uh, good afternoon, it's John Tryon. I'm one of the volunteers here at the Ontario Regiment Museum in Oshawa. And today we're working on some uh, additional uh, maintenance activities here. We've got uh, one of our 113s. Uh, this one happens to be an engineer's vehicle, uh, less the dozer blade. And we have a hydraulic leak and a coolant leak in the engine that is causing us some issues. So we're in the process of disconnecting all the all the electrics and coolant lines in preparation for pulling the engine. One of our illustrious volunteers is underneath uh, working away trying to disconnect a large hydraulic return line. So uh, Pete's in there making noise, but uh, otherwise we should uh, get pretty good today and pulling this probably next weekend if all goes according to plan. Okay, we're standing here at the front of the uh, vehicle again, and uh, looking at the front of the engine, we've disconnected the uh, air box, air filter, uh, exhaust manifold is pulled off the front of the engine that goes out to through the muffler. Uh, front drive shaft between the transmission and the control differential has been disconnected. Uh, we ha still have to do some of the cooling lines underneath, and we're just tr in the process of removing the large uh, oil uh, return line that takes the control differential oil feed back to the engine or back to the transfer case for cooling purposes so uh, that's the one that's slowing us down right now once we're done the front hatch and the top cover on our on hinges they will be folded up out of the way and then we can continue to disconnect and then lift the engine out through the top much like you would on a car just by removing the hood and giving yourself a nice open space. Good job, buddy. So what we're working here on the back side of the engine uh, is the uh, hydraulic pump for the hydraulic system that controls the auger on the, just above me here on the left hand side of the vehicle and the dozer blade in the front. Uh, cooling system, fan, uh, fan drive needs to be disconnected, the belts uh, off the engine for that. The generator needs to be removed to the alternator to give us room to pull the engine. And some, just some more uh, linkages and what have you that need to be disconnected to the driver's position. So all the engine covers are off. And then once we get the engine out, there's a, we'll take a, take a few uh, bit of time there and do a lot of cleaning in the engine compartment. This thing was active uh, out in Gagetown for quite some time. So, you know, it's had some hard use. There's probably lots of interesting things under the floor. We'll probably get at that. Use one of a, use a spare engine, swap the, uh, swap the uh, parts from one to the other as far as uh, accessories and then Put it back in so we'll have a refreshed engine back in a reasonably clean vehicle that we can use for tank days and routine maintenance in the tank arena uh, going forward okay so this is an example of a m113 apc engine this actually is going to be the donor or the engine that we uh, put into the other one so it's out of a, one of our other vehicles it's and still in reasonably good shape the one thing we'll have to do is transfer some of the parts from the other engine onto this one. So as for example, I think you caught a picture of uh, the hydraulic pump being removed. So there's a blank plate here that has to be removed, uh, a change out in some of the gear train to put to uh, mount the, uh, the hydraulic pump. We've got uh, the pulleys driving the fan, the alternator, fuel filters, uh, the fuel, the throttle, and uh, fuel rack control is here for the uh, that's attached to the governor on the on the fuel system for the diesel. Of course, it's a Detroit diesel, so it's a two-stroke. Um, for those techies out there, it's a six V fifty-three, so it's a six-cylinder V-type, and the cylinder uh, displacements are fifty-three cubic inches each. So it's a three eighteen, three hundred eighteen cubic inch engine. On the other side, this is the side that would be looking out the front of the vehicle then you have uh, the transmission and that goes forward to the control differential and uh, the exhaust manifolds and all of that stuff. So basically all the busy side of the, of the engine is on the back side where that's where the, the drivers and the crew can do their checks. They can do their fuel checks, um, oil checks. So you've got transfer case dip or engine dipstick, transfer case dipstick here. 
Um, this is your transfer case. You have a transfer case disconnect so you can put, essentially put the vehicle in neutral if you need to tow it for a prolonged period of time. Uh, fuel filter and, uh, and uh, you know, that's, this is, would be where your air intake goes. And in the vehicle, if you were, if I was standing, I would be standing on the, uh, on the driver's side of the vehicle, you'd have your air intake coming here and your air cleaners here inside the dry, inside the engine compartment. On the far side, on top of the engine, you would have the rad and the fan drive for cooling going out through the top of the vehicle.